Let's play What's Wrong with This Coat of Arms, a presentation in which I will show you some heraldic designs, point out what's wrong with them, and offer some better alternatives. So, what's wrong with this coat of arms? This coat of arms violates the rule of tincture, which states that color tinctures should not be placed on top of each other, nor should metal tinctures be placed on top of each other. Color tinctures in heraldry are red, gulls, blue, azure, green, vert, and black, sable. Metals are white, argent, and yellow, ore. The reason for the rule of tincture is to ensure the design has good contrast. A better design would be one like this, which places color, goals, on metal, argent. This results in better contrast and higher visibility. What's wrong with this coat of arms? This coat of arms has lots of small charges which would be difficult to distinguish at a distance. Heraldry is about identification, so it is best that charges be few in number and large in size. An ideal coat of arms would have just one charge, one color, and one metal. But remember, every coat of arms should be unique. A better design might be one like this. There are fewer charges and the main charge is larger. Which design do you think you would be more likely to remember? This or the one before? Remember, heraldry is about identification. And what's wrong with this coat of arms? Although surname coats of arms are widely available, historically coats of arms belong to individuals. Coats of arms may be inherited, usually via the direct male line, but they do not belong to everyone with the same surname. A better alternative is to design your own coat of arms. There are lots of resources available online for this. The example featured here uses a design technique called counterchanging. This can help enable the creation of simple yet unique designs. This has been What's Wrong with This Coat of Arms?